Hello and welcome to Open Logic. This is System Verilog in 5 minutes. In this video, we will learn about structure. A structure is an aggregate variable, and that means it can contain several other variables. We can declare a structure variable by using the keyword struct, and we wrap around the variables that we want in the curly braces. In the example here, the structure has a bit, a byte, and an int. In case you're not familiar with the syntax, the first part is the type and the second part is the variable. Now you have two structure variables, S0 and S1. You can access the member of the structure by using dot operator such as S0.b. Just like other types of variable, you can assign one structure value to another structure variable. In this case, all the bit, byte, and int in S1 will get their value from the respective bit, byte, and int from S0. Now, due to the wordiness of the structure type, it is recommended to use typedef to provide a shorter name. In the example here show that this structure is given a shorthand, mystruct. Mystruct is now a new user-defined type, which can be used to create this structure variable. Now that we've understood the meaning of the syntax, let's take a look at this code to better appreciate its functionality. There are 9 variables, 3 red, 3 greens, and 3 blues, all of which are 8 bits. Or in another way, you can see them as 3 sets of a red, green, blue. In the initial block, red 0, green 0, and blue 0 are assigned to some values. And then those values are copied over to the other sets respectively. So at this point, you can pretty much tell that there is 3 sets of red, green, blue, not 9 individual variables. Those who studied image processing will find this very familiar, because red, green, and blue are the basic color description of a pixel. Every color in the pixel is a combination of different shades of red, green, and blue. Imagine that is in fact the case here. We can then use struct to wrap around these three variables, red, green, and blue. One struct to represent one pixel. And now you can manipulate the variables in a pixel manner. There is no right or wrong with either code, they both work. Accessing variable through struct is more difficult because of the extra dot operator, but creating and assigning struct variables is easier. More importantly though, I believe the design and test intention is better represented with structure in this case. Now let's take a look at the ecosystem around structure. We've already known about dot operator for accessing members of a struct. We can display an individual member value in a conventional manner like this. Having said that, there is a formatter, percentage %p, which is used by aggregate variable like struct. It will print the name and value of every member within the struct. For example, b equals 0 and i equals 0 here. Although I suppose every simulator would have different printing convention, another aspect of structure variable is that it can be packed by using the keyword packed. In many ways, packed or unpacked structure are similar. The difference between them is that unpacked structure is simply a wrapper, every of its members is isolated from one another, whereas in a packed structure, its members are concatenated as one big variable, and they collectively form a larger number. In this case, the unpacked structure has one bit and one int. The packed structure also has one bit and one int, but it is also a 32 bits number, combining its member, the bit, and the int. Thus, you can access the structure as one numerical variable. The same thing cannot be done on unpacked structure. There are two unpacked structure here, S0 and S1, and there are two packed structure here, SP0 and SP1. Even though both struct has one bit and one int, but they are not of the same type. You can assign from one structure variable to another, like from S0 to S1 and SP0 to SP1, but you cannot mix and match assign different structure type, like from SP0 to S1. A structure variable may be synthesizable depending on its members. If all its members are numerical variables, then it is synthesizable. If it contains it like a string variable, then it is not. In summary, structure is an aggregate type that can wrap around several variables of different types. Alright, that's it for this time around. Thanks for watching. To support by clicking like, share, and subscribe.